Hi, my name is Ramon Azwin. Uh, I've been in the e-sport industry, I think about as an e-sport athlete, about 20 years, 21 years this year. And I started playing Counter Strike when I was 16 years old. Not really into games, but because of family, I wanted to be close to my brother. I wanted to be um, as competitive as they are. My whole life has always been about playing Counter Strike uh, in different level. So the first level that I played in is mostly national, just for fun. And then after that, I joined a team and then I played on a national level. And then right now, I'm on it, currently in the international level. Back then, well, 10 years, 15 years ago, it's a male dominant scene. It's always going to be that way. Even right as of today, you have streamers, you have female leagues and stuff like that. That's why I said back then, I was very fortunate. It must be very hard for you, isn't that? Anything you want to achieve in life is not easy. People would think it, it, it would be a weakness, became my strength. It took me more than a decade to be where I am at. I just feel that if there were to be changes, it should be adding more guidelines towards um, what is eSport and how do you venture into it and what is like, I would say workshop, this and that. It would help, tapi it has to come from above. The people that is empowered to do changes for the community and for the athletes. I cannot be calling myself an eSport athlete if eSport don't exist in Malaysia. So I started off with a workshop clinic that I helped the youth, um, not just for the game category that I'm playing, the CS or CS4. Yeah, I also help them with the role, like some leadership, support role, even like, you know, like, uh, how, how is it to be in a team that's going to direct uh, where does eSport lead in another five to ten years from now, but also being a good citizen. And at the end of the day, kuasa di tangan anak muda.